An RTC bus driver is calling for increased security after she says she was attacked several weeks ago by a passenger on a late night route. Action News reporter Brian Callahan spoke with a woman and has her story. I've been spit on. I've had drinks thrown on me. But Paula White says the most frightening experience in her 20 plus year career driving a bus came seven weeks ago on her last run of the night. All I remember is, is getting hit. She says she was ready to pull away from the stop at Lake Mead in Hollywood when her attacker got on. I actually get out of my seat and tell him, you know, come on through the back door. I'm having an asthma attack and the cigarette smoke that you were you had would make me sicker. White says that didn't calm him. I kind of walk up to the driver's seat and as I'm walking up to the seat, he's coming behind me and he's still yelling and he's cursing. That's when White says she notified supervisors. And I pushed my panic button. At that point, White says she got off the bus and began walking down the street trying to get away from the altercation. She says a little ways down, she sat down on the curb, but she says the verbal assault continued and even escalated when she tried to stand up. We fought for a while and during that time, I just remember yelling, don't let me die, somebody help. White says the man waited around and was arrested. Court records show he pleaded to misdemeanor battery and was given a suspended sentence. White is now on light duty and says she had another run in with the suspect on Friday at the downtown transit center. She says if he's still allowed to ride the bus, there needs to be more protection for drivers. On routes that are known for being dangerous routes, there's got to be more security. We reached out to the RTC tonight. We got a call from the contractor that deals with the drivers. They said driver and passenger safety are their top priorities, and they said they're continuing to look into the incidents. Trisha. Now to a developing story. We are following.